Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to check out 12 gauge shot pattern at different distances, chokes, and loads. We're gonna start out using this high velocity bird shot made by Fiocchi. It's two and three quarter inch and it's pretty powerful stuff. I've used this before and I really like it. We're also gonna use a triple out buckshot called Remington Hog Hammer. It has eight pellets in each of the shells and each of these are two and three quarter inch shells. We're going to try this at two different distances. So right here we're at eight yards. We're also gonna back up to 16 yards. And we're also going to use three different chokes. We're gonna use a cylinder, a modified and a full choke. And we're gonna check out the shot pattern with each of those. So let me get out the shotgun and then we'll begin this. The shotgun that I'm using for this range test is a TriStar Cobra 3 Marine model. 18 and a half inch barrel and it has a cylinder choke in there right now. Here's the bird shot, Fiocchi, high velocity, seven and a half shot. We're eight yards away. Let's see how it goes. And now from eight yards, triple out buckshot with eight pellets, still using the cylinder choke. Now I have a modified choke installed, seven and a half bird load. Once again, eight yards. Triple up buckshot, modified choke, eight yards. A full choke installed, high velocity bird shot, eight yards. Triple up buckshot, full choke, eight yards. All right, each of these are from eight yards. We'll start out with the bird shot. We can see that the cylinder choke has a very wide spread. It tightens up quite a bit with the modified choke and then it gets very tight with the full choke. All these are shot at eight yards. Let's check out the buckshot cylinder. You can see the pattern there. It gets a little bit tighter with a modified choke and then even tighter yet with a full choke. Now, the bird shot loads are much more noticeable than the buckshot, but let's see if that continues at 16 yards. All right, 16 yards away. I already have the full choke installed, so I'm gonna stick with this with the high velocity bird load let's go triple up buckshot full choke 16 yards bird load 16 yards cylinder choke triple up buckshot cylinder choke 16 yards. Let's take a look at what 16 yards looks like. Here we have the cylinder choke and it spread all across that poster board as where the full choke kept a tighter pattern at 16 yards. As for the buckshot, not that great of a difference between the full and the cylinder. A little tighter with the full choke right there opposed to the cylinder but it is very noticeable with the bird shot. All right, so what is the purpose of all this? Well, a 12 gauge shotgun was fired at eight yards and 16 yards. Not a great difference with the triple out buckshot in regard to the spread. So everybody who has that loaded for self-defense or in their home and they say, well, just get it close and you'll be okay. That's a myth. You're looking at a pattern about this wide. And so you do have to make a better shot than many people out there are saying. Now with the bird shot, it's very wide, all right, with all the chokes, but especially that cylinder choke. But consider this, we're about 18 yards away from that hill. Somebody with a winter jacket, those pellets would be bouncing off of them, I truly believe, as we're with the triple out buckshot, it would have been 
very lethal. So you have to consider the distance, you know, think about your house. Where would you ideally have to encounter an intruder? And how far away is that? And then what choke you have? But the most important thing is the load. And that is what I was hoping to establish with this range test. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.